NeoDash allows to create different kinds of widgets that are called reports and organize them in tabs or page to visualize the content of a Neo4j graph database. This way, you can easily analyze the content of the database and quickly get updated figures, tables, charts, graph displays as you import more data. NeoDash is available at this URL for any instance of a Neo4j graph database. It's also a graph app you can add to Neo4j Desktop. With the database running locally in Neo4j Desktop, let's connect NeoDash to this database with an existing dashboard. First, you can create a widget to document the dashboard. Here I've used an embedded iframe, but you can also write the widget in Markdown. You can read that the dashboard is applied to a database that contains nodes with two main labels, geographical objects and categorization. And there are two kinds of geographical objects, landmarks and toponyms. To get overviews of the database content, you can display different kinds of charts. This icon opens the documentation for all the possible kinds of charts and widgets. This one shows the proportion of landmarks and toponyms. You can simply resize and reorder widgets with drag and drop. On this page, you can explore the structure of classes used to normalize the categorization of objects imported from different sources. It uses a widget to display a subgraph of the database. With advanced settings like defining the size and color of nodes from the value of a property of the node. Here's a list of classes with their parent class that you can sort or filter to search, for example, for a waterfall. This table is produced with a more elaborate query. After you match a set of nodes with a pattern on labels, property, values, or by relation type and property, you can produce a table with any value of those nodes' label, property value, or even relation types. Graphs are indeed a great formal structure because you can interrelate everything, but also avoid being lost in complexity by choosing what to expose for a specific purpose in any of the more basic formal structures. List, hierarchy, categorization, and tables. In NeoDash, you can apply rule-based styling on tables to make some lines stand out according to some property values. Nodes with a point type property you can display on a map widget and use a parameter widget for user to be able to set a variable value that can be used in any widget of the dashboard. You can define a dashboard to help users who cannot write cipher to get an overview of the database content, or for yourself to visualize how the database builds up as you add more data to it. Let's import data. And see how figures and charts update. Dashboards can be saved as a JSON file or in the database as a NeoDash dashboard labeled node, so you can later quickly load a dashboard. We've seen that NeoDash provides a quick and easy way to build visualization of what is in your database with easy updates as the database builds up. Here are useful references. Thank you for your attention.